The Army's Chemical Corps traces its origins to the battlefields of the First World War, where European armies used lethal agents in an attempt to break the stalemate of trench warfare. Founded in 1918 as the Chemical Warfare Service, it became a permanent branch of the Army in 1920 and was redesignated as the Chemical Corps after World War II. Today's Chemical Corps is responsible for far more than chemical defense. Chemical Corps officers lead soldiers who prevent, defend against, or mitigate chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats also known as CBRN. Responding to such deadly threats requires officers with tremendous professionalism and expertise. From lieutenant to general, a Chemical Corps officer's career alternates between operations abroad and support to the American public at home. Junior Chemical Corps officers can expect to spend more time in the Army's operating force, honing their small unit leadership and staff expertise. This is an invaluable training and educational experience that helps them to understand the larger Army that they serve. As they approach mid-career, Chemical Corps officers are afforded opportunities to pursue graduate education and develop expertise, suiting them for leadership in either operating force or generating force assignments, training and educating soldiers and leaders across the Army, as well as collaborating with and training the other services, departments, and law enforcement agencies. Chemical Corps officers possess a special blend of skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Their unique talents help them to succeed in any mission. Communicator. Chemical Corps officers are precise, efficient, and compelling in both the written and spoken word. It's important for chemical officers to be skilled communicators because we do operate independently. Every brigade in the Army needs a chemical officer. A lot of battalions in the Army have chemical officers. If you can't communicate what you can do for the commander and, and that unit, then they're not going to see you as, as useful. Domain specific education. Many Chemical Corps officers possess degrees in science, technology, engineering, or math. While these are critical, the Chemical Corps demands expertise in other areas as well. I think uh, the science, technology, engineering, and math background makes it easier to digest the technical aspects of being a chemical officer so that you can focus on being a good leader. But if you don't have those degrees, you, you know, there's an opportunity for you to learn as you go along through the military learning process. You can definitely be a great chemical officer and not have that background in biology or chemistry. Problem solvers. Chemical Corps officers routinely use a mix of established practices and new unorthodox solutions to meeting complex threats and challenges. The Chem Corps needs problem solvers because you may not get the entire the entire story. You may get pieces of that story. So you have to be able to put all of those pieces together and solve that problem. We have to, you know, continually keep learning and uh, adapt to what the situation, what, what's going on in the world. There's no real book answer at times to the issues that we might face. Interpersonal. Skilled in developing appropriate relationships, Chemical Corps officers connect with others to achieve desired outcomes. To be able to get the support that you need um, as a separate unit can be challenging if you don't have interpersonal skills. As a chemical officer, you have to be able to communicate with the outside world, not just the Army. Perceptive. Keenly aware of their surroundings, Chemical Corps officers readily discern the deeper meaning of actions, events, or communications in their operating environment. It's basically knowing what you know and knowing what you don't know. When my team walks in, I have to be able to see through their eyes and see what they're seeing without actually me seeing it. And to be able to perceive what actually is important out of that, um, bring that forward, bring that information forward is really critical for any chemical officer. Able to prioritize multiple challenges, 
Chemical Corps officers effectively respond to simultaneous demands. Being a multitasker is very critical as a chemical officer. You're going to have to be able to hit your maintenance, you're going to have to be able to hit the commander's intent, you're going to have to hit all of your moving forward training events that are coming up. You have to be able to do all of that at one time. I went to school at Jury University um, as a first lieutenant because I went through OCS. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The United States Military Academy. I went to school at Hampton University. I was commissioned through ROTC. I majored in uh, chemistry. Bachelor's degree in biology. I double majored in economics and political science. Because I wanted something to challenge me, the chemical core was what I chose. One of the best things about the chemical core is the idea that uh, they kind of spread themselves throughout the Army, and they're not specifically wed to one area, even on the battlefield. As a lieutenant, you could be in an in a armored unit, an infantry unit, uh, field artillery, and so on. So you have the opportunity to learn from all these different branches. That specialization sets us apart. There's a lot more to the Chemical Corps than uh, the gas chamber and, and Mop 4. I am a member of the Tech Escort team, and what we are is a rapidly deploying unit that is ready to do anything and everything dealing with weapons of mass destruction. You can do decontamination, you can do nerve agent warfare. I'm a mounted recon platoon leader in uh, MBCRV striker platoon. My vehicles are basically rolling laboratories, but also I have to be able to move, maneuver them, protect them. You can make a difference as a chemical soldier. You can use it to propel yourself forward because you want to be good at what you're doing and serve honorably. Ultimately, we want someone who wants to be in the chemical corps. We want someone who has the passion to support our troops in that way.